I just wanted to do a quick video to show the um, ins and outs of using paint pens. I see a lot of comments um, on some of the YouTube videos, uh, mine and other people's, that people hate hate Posca pens or can't stand to use paint pens because they um, they leak and they don't write well and. I mean, I have such a love relationship with Posca pens and some of the other brands that I thought I would do a quick video to show how I how I get them started and how I use them so, and I never have a problem, so I just thought I would share my insight. So let's get started with a Posca pen. This is a Uni Posca pen with a fine point and it's brand new. I just took the plastic shrink wrap off of it and what you want to do first, of course, is shake it. And then, you can, as you can see, there's no paint in the tip because it hasn't been primed. So to prime a paint pen, what you want to do is to um, push down on it and just wait a few minutes, wait a few seconds there, and look how quickly the paint went into the tip. So now you don't want to push down at all. Here's where people get into trouble. When they write with them, they use pressure and they push down and they think that that you have to push to get the paint to come out once you have the paint primed the paint just flows I mean look at this I'm like holding it loosely in my hand and look at the paint it just comes out in a really f great manner it flows when you're working on an art journal page it'll just flow and you don't have to put any pressure if you push down on that tip it's going to flood with paint. So paint's going to come rolling down the barrel and it's going to have this big blob of bubbly paint that's going to come out and it's going to continue to be like that and it'll be a, a continual problem for you. And this goes for any paint pen. Here's a Ranger's Dilutions paint pen. Same thing. You want to shake it and when you first pick up your pen to use it, same with the Posca. The first thing you want to do is give it a couple shakes so you can hear that ball bearing. It's just going to mix up that paint really well that's in the barrel. And you do want to store them horizontally. You don't want to put them in a cup standing straight up because then the paint runs down, it comes out of the tip, you're going to have to keep constantly priming them. So that could be another problem. Um, these paint pens, or <laughs> any paint pens, as a rule of thumb, paint pens in general need to be stored horizontally so that the paint stays even throughout the barrel and the tip while you're not using the pen. So when you pick it up, you leave the tips on, the caps on, you give it a couple of shakes, and it should just start writing for you. So there it goes. This is a Ranger Dilutions, and it just starts, and it's the same concept. You don't use any pressure at all to write with a paint pen. You just do your writing. So you have to keep in mind, do not press down. If you start to go along on your art journal page and it's starting to um, not have any ink in it or seem like it's not running very well, you just want to take it off the page that you're using, come back to a piece of scratch paper, push down once, just lightly, to get that paint started and start that flow again. And that's all you want to do. But don't push down on your page. Even if it's a art journal page and maybe it's got some mediums and you're working on an altered book page and you're using your paint pen and you're going over uh, some bumpy areas that have texture or gesso or paint or other different things, still, I, I mean, in your mind, you think that you need to push down, but you don't. You just need to use a light hand and do your doodling or your drawing with the paint pen. If you push down, you will flood it and then you'll, you'll really have a hard time with Okay, now I'm going to show you the same thing. This is a Montana acrylic water-based paint pen. It's got a big fat bullet tip. Same thing. I shake it. Paint should already be in the tip. And look it. It's ready to go right when you open it. And I don't ever have to reprime it or press down on it. If I'm using this on a page and I'm going along, it should just be flowing with paint. If you have to push down, you're going to flood the pen and then you'll have a problem. 
So the four brand of paint pens that I like to use are um, Unipasca, Montana, Rangers Dilutions, and the Derwent Graphic paint pen. Same thing, they all have the same concept. Keep them stored horizontally, shake them. If you open it and shake it, you're also going to flood the tip. Always be sure that you put your lid on before you do your shaking because if it's not working and your lid's off and you shake it, you'll also flood the tip because the tip actually pushes down on the little cartridge in there and, and it keeps pressure on it so that it should have paint ready to go in the tip when you pull the lid off from doing a couple of shakes. So don't shake your pens, Posca or any other brand, with the cap off. Always leave the cap on, do your little shake in, mix the product, and then it should be just ready to go. Now this one, as you can see, is not writing well, and it has been flooded. So as you can see that there's paint all in there, and that's why it's not writing, and it's flooded. So here I'm going to show you what to do when you've got a flooded pen that you've pushed down too hard on. The paint is bubbling out. See, look at this paint. See how it's rolling out. It's leaking. That's where people go, oh, I hate these paint pens. The tip is not working. There's no ink in the tip, but there's paint coming out above the tip, so it's flooded. So what you want to do is you want to take um, a piece of paper and you want to pull you want to pull that tip out. See, they come out. And you don't tip your pen over because it's going to be a lot of ink in there. So what you want to do is stand that up. I stand them up in a cup if there's a problem like this. And I take that into the bathroom because these are all water soluble paint pens and I wash that out and dry it really well with um, whatever you have. A, a paper towel would be best probably, but wash it off and dry it. Okay, and this is what it looks like after you do that. It's, see how all the metal shows now? It's nice and cleaned off. The tip is clean and now you've got your cartridge. It's like fibrous where the paint flows into it. And you're gonna wanna stick it back into your pen And you don't need to shake it. You don't need to put the lid back on and shake it at this point because your, your paint is already mixed. But you want to do what you normally do, which is to press down on it just once and just enough to get that paint flowing. So this is the Ranger's Dilution Pen. And same thing, give it a little shake and start drawing with it. And if it flows fine, you're ready to go. Okay, and here's another one, and when I start to draw with it, it didn't have a very good flow of paint. So I put the lid back on, gave it a few shakes, try it again, no flow of paint. Press down on it once, press down on it twice, and now I've got a good flow of paint. So you really don't want to press down and hold it pressed down, because then you'll flood it. You just want to do a quick press and release, and then again, light-handed drawing, and it flows just fine. Posca, right when I take it off the shelf, they just, they just flow. I've never had one single problem on even a textured journal, but that's because I'm a light-handed drawer. I'm not pushing down at all. I mean, that pen is literally just weight weightless laying in my hand and I'm just drying with it and look at how nice and easy that paint flows okay here's a white one a white Posca pen with um, the other kind of tip it's got like the flatter fine tip than the pointed fine tip um, it is a 0 0.7 millimeter and this one has been flooded so and it's to see how it doesn't write well i'm showing you on why on dark it doesn't write well so if i push down on it once push down on it twice i'm trying to get it to start flowing and now it's flowing just fine see i didn't i didn't push and push and push and push and hold it and wait 
and because it's it's flowing fine and it's not leaking I'm not going to worry about that tip but you could take a paper towel or a soft cloth and you could clean that extra that extra paint off around that tip because it was pushed down on too hard to draw with and that's why it got flooded at some point you just need a quick push and then it should flow again so see now it's flowing just fine so you can do your doodling and your dots and you shouldn't have any problem with the paint flowing as long as you're not pressing down if you press down when you draw it's definitely going to flood that tip and once it's flooded you just won't be happy with it it's going to leak all over your page so tip on shake prime it press down press down prime it and it should flow just fine so hopefully that helped if you have any um comments or questions leave them below and i'll see if i can help you if you're having any problems with your paint pens or if you found some solutions to what you do about a paint pen that's not working right other than to just get frustrated and toss the thing in the garbage and cuss your full head off hey leave a comment below and give us some ideas if i haven't mentioned anything here but um again i've never had any problem with my paint pens and I think it's because I'm light-handed in the way that I draw. I shake with the lid on. I keep them stored horizontally. And when I'm priming them, you just push and release, push and release. You don't push and hold it down waiting for that paint to flow because once it flows down, it's going to just flood. So hopefully that helps. And um, let me know what you think of um, giving this a try with some of your paint pens that you've had problems with. Clean off those tips and store horizontally and try it again and see if you have a better result so hope i helped and thanks for stopping by have a great day